All right, so this window here is called the BlueJ project window. Yours by default looks like this with buttons for new class, this arrow thing, and compile. Um, if you want to compile all of your Java classes at once, and we'll talk more about what we even mean by compile later this week, I can click this button and compile everything at once. There is a little triangle here at the bottom of the left side. It's really kind of hard to see on the screen, but my cursor is highlighting it. If you click that, you'll have additional buttons which are useful. We care about these teamwork buttons. Um, we'll deal with the testing buttons in our next unit. Okay. Um, there are several files that show up here. Each Java class shows up in this like, I don't know what color that is, orangish color maybe, um, of the rectangle. So there's a turtle demo, a string explorer, and a turtle app. Um, there's also a readme.md file. That's really like a readme file for our summative lab at the end of the unit. If I open it up in BlueJ, it just looks like a plain text file. Um, it's formatted nicer in GitHub because it's a markdown format. Um, but we don't need to worry about that right now. The file that we need to worry about today is the one called Turtle Demo. So if I double click on that, it opens up the source code for the Java class Turtle Demo. We will explore every single word in every single line of this file over the next like week or two. Um, but honestly, none of that's really important today. Because I expect, based on given what the code looks like to begin with here, and some documentation I'm about to show you, you'll be able to figure out how to make the turtle, which I named Crunch, um, do something cool and fun. And the details of exactly how that all works, we're going to fill in over the next week. Um, now, you've probably never programmed in Java. You've probably never programmed a turtle in Java. Um, so a lot of this is going to be based on what's already written there and like writing something similar to do something similar. Um, but one thing that you can't just guess and figure out is like, what can you make the turtle do? Or in Java, we say that is like, what methods can you call on a turtle? If you Google for like Java turtle methods, you will find tons of pages. And chances are none of them are applicable to R-Turtle. Okay. R-Turtle was developed in Georgia Tech by Dr. Erickson. Um, and she put together this whole framework that we'll use at different points throughout this course. Um, but it's probably not the one you're going to find on Google. Um, so to avoid frustration, don't Google for what you can do with the turtle. Instead, the documentation you need is actually in the folder that you checked out or will check out um, from GitHub. So um, if you're on a Mac, it's going to be in your user folder, probably called BlueJ. And you can click on the Finder icon and bring that up. And then you can open up your Objects folder. If you're on Windows, you can click on the File Explorer icon, which looks like a little file folder on the bottom. Um, and that will open up. And then you can click on like, this PC, Windows C drive, users, your username, and then inside of there is probably your objects folder. Once you find your objects folder, the doc folder has all the documentation for the turtle and everything related to turtles. So if I open up doc, I can then, the file we're most interested in is index.html. And when I open that, it looks like this. We will actually learn how this documentation gets automatically made, which is pretty cool, um, in a little bit later. But what we're interested in here is simple turtle. If I click on simple turtle and scroll down some, I can see all sorts of methods I can call on a turtle. I can make the turtle go backwards. I can make it go forwards. I can hide the turtle. I can put the pen down. I can put, pick the pen up. I can set the color of the turtle. 
I can set the color of the pen. There we go. Um, I can set the width of the pen. I can turn a certain number of degrees or turn left or turn right. All sorts of stuff I can do with a turtle. I can click on any one of these to learn a little bit more information about how I do it. So for example, when I call set pen color, I need to pass a color. Okay. And we can see that in like the example code here, I called set pen color and I made the pen color orange. So when you're looking for information about turtles, you want to look inside this doc folder. When you're looking for general information about Java, like what's a color? That's a good question. That's when Google is like totally useful. So in Google, if I simply type Java doc, all one word, J-A-V-A-D-O-C, and then the, what it is I want to learn more about, like color, the first link is probably going to be the documentation for the color class. You might have multiple choices there. You might see like an SE7 and SE8. Version 7 of Java, I think, has the friendliest documentation. So that's the one I always click on. And then here's all sorts of information about colors. And I can see there's all these like pre-built colors. So I can do color.black, blue, gray, green, magenta, pink, red, white, yellow, all sorts of stuff. Um, so lots of options, lots of options there. So I made my turtle do a couple extra things. I made my turtle turn right and then go forward another 50 steps. After I make a change, this is a difference from Python, um, if you're familiar with Python. Before I can run my Java program, I have to compile it. And I can do that by pressing the compile button here in the upper left part of the toolbar. Or I can press uh, control K on Windows or Command K on the Mac. And then at the bottom, I'm told class compiled, no syntax errors. Yay! Usually there are syntax errors, so you have to fix those first. Once I've compiled this, I can go back to the BlueJ project window and right click on the class I want to run. Okay, so there's another step to actually run the code. When I right click on it, I'm going to want to highlight the menu that says void main string args. This will run the main method in the turtle demo class. It'll bring up a dialog where I can specify additional arguments. We don't need any. I'm just going to click OK. And another window is going to pop up with my turtle. Very exciting. And then I can go back to my code and change something else and hit compile and run it again and so on and so forth. 